Hello all, how's everyone today? This is Lisa. How's everyone? I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Um, I had a great day today and I'm just thankful and I'm grateful and I'm just happy to be with you all today. I asked the Lord what it, he wanted me to speak upon today. And in my spirit, I heard the words, as a man thinketh, so is he. And which comes out of Proverbs. And believe it or not, when I opened up the Bible, when I looked down to my Bible, it was on Proverbs. So I truly believe that um, the Lord is truly concerned with our thoughts, you know, what's in our minds, uh, the things that we think upon, that we think of, you know, um, we have pure thoughts or evil thoughts, you know, um, as a man think of so is he. Um, the, God's very, very concerned with what is in our heart and how we think. Um, so I will be reading some verses and then explaining, giving explanations to um, why God feel this way. As why is he, does he feel so strong um, about this um, subject, about what's in our thoughts and our hearts and keeping things pure and clean within our minds and our spirits. Because what cometh out of a person defiles a man. So I would like to um, start with a verse in Proverbs chapter 23. Uh, Proverbs chapter 23. Verse 6. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. The morsel which thou hast eaten shall not vomit up and lose thy sweet words. Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. So Jesus um, want us to not speak um, words that can hurt. And he want us to have in our hearts, pure thoughts, um, that our minds not be conformed to the things uh, on this world. Because we could take in so much junk in our hearts and our minds and our systems that our thoughts become unclean. You know, God cleanses us and washes us with his blood. So I'm going to give some verses about this. Proverbs 16.3, commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. So here Jesus is saying, if we will put our thoughts on things that Christ want us to do, um, you know, we will be better for it. Um, you know, you ask the Lord to give you a clean heart. You know, you ask the Lord to fix your heart so that you can be used by thee. You know, there's a song that says, give me a clean heart. Um, fix my heart, Lord, so I can be used by thee. Lord, I'm not worthy for all these blessings, but give me a clean heart and I'll follow thee. So this is what... Uh, God hate wickedness and when we are yeah, thinking wicked things and evil things and plotting against one another and, and plotting the things that we, we want to do that's evil um, speaking evil and thinking evil thoughts um, putting others down um, backbiting, back talking um, backlash you know um, gossiping on one about people these are the type of things that God say, put away from you. You know, he say, let no evil thing come out of your mouth. If the, the tongue defiles a person. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalms 139, 23 through 24. So he asked God to search, search your heart. 
and if there be any wickedness in you to ask God to remove it from you. And he said that which cometh out of the man that defileth the man for from within out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Now, I just made a video. This is very um, conf confirming to me. It's confirmation because I just made a video where I was talking to these things and how um, the Lord says the tongue defiles. So he's just giving me confirmation again today that he really want me to talk about this more on this. So um, this is something that's really going on strong within people about the talk and the walk, um, the uncleanliness that's in um, people. Now, and I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment, 1 Corinthians 1.10. So the Lord, you know, the Lord is saying that he wants us to be joined, you know, with him, you know, not to be separate, but joined in oneness with him, you know, that not to be divided from um, your words and your thoughts. He don't want our thoughts to divide, you know, he wants us to have pure thoughts, pure mind, pure heart, pure soul. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Proverbs 4.23. Um, you know, all the issues that we deal with in life, you know, it's, it's so easy to, to think bad of someone. You know, if someone have a bad a action that, uh, a bad action, you know, we have to ask the Lord to forgive them. You know, Lord say we are to bless our enemies. We're not to just be um, putting people down us because we don't like someone. You know, if someone could be in leadership, you know, in and, and, and charge of the country or whatever. You don't have to like, you know, the person that's in leadership. But the Lord say pray for them. You know, God knows all things. He knows what's in someone's heart. And sometimes... People um, can, can't see everything of someone. They can just only see part of them. But we don't know what's going on behind closed door, doors or who is um, praise to God. You know, so we are just not to pass judgment on if somebody is of God or for God. We're just supposed to use discernment and ask God to give us discernment for these things. But we are not to put people down and talk and gossip about people because we don't like them. We are to pray for them. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of thoughts and inherits of the heart. So we are to just have discernment. Ask God for discernment. You know, um, discernment when you want to speak, you know, um, you know, because the things we can speak sometimes out of our mouths could be blasphemy against the Lord God Almighty. You know, um, we just want to be in God's perfect will. Ask God, what is your will? Uh, uh, Lord, let your will be done in my life. You know, ask God, what is his will and his plan for you? You know, his plan is to keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, to I love this verse here. You know, um, to, to not be conformed, your mind be conformed to what's going on in this world, because a carnal mind is in enmity with the Lord God Almighty. You know, um, he does not take kindly to wickedness. You know, the Lord is not the author of confusion. You know, um, the devil is the author of confusion. You know, so God just wants us to look to him. He knows that this is flesh, this body we are in is flesh. You know, and when we go to the Lord, when we um, pass from this earth and we go and meet the Lord, um, God gives us glorified bodies. We have a new body. 
when we meet the Lord um, Jesus Christ. And I look forward to that one day um, to meet the, the Lord Jesus, our Savior and our healer, our keeper. You know, the way maker, the miracle worker, the promise keeper, our strength, our light, our truth, our righteousness, our help, our peace. We glorify the God because he's mighty God. He's God almighty. He's worthy to be reverenced and praised. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondered the heart. You know, someone, um, people as a whole, you know, could think that they're doing the right things, you know, but it's what God think is right. It's not what we think is right. It's what the Lord think is right. And I believe in the word of God. If God say we ought to do something, we ought to think a certain way. And I believe his word, his word is power in his word. There's strength in, in Jesus' word. His word is the sword of the spirit. You know, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. You know, we are to abide in his word. You know, if God say don't speak evil, then we are not to speak evil. You know, and if you speak dark things, you know, dark begets dark. You know, we want to speak things of light. We want to bring light around us. You know, we want to um, just speak life in the, to the situation. You know, there's, you could, there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. You know, and just thank God for waking you each and every day. To show you his light, to have mercy on you, his grace, to sustain you and keep you each and every day throughout these trials of your life. Heaviness on your hearts to keep your hearts clean and pure, to help your mind become better, you know, in your thinking and um, just have a heart for the Lord, you know, a giving heart. You know, um, as a man think of so Izzy, you know, if you think bad, you're going to have a bad day. You wake up and say, I'm just going to have a bad day. Then you will, you will have a bad day. You know, I just told someone this the other day, you know, that spoke to me and said, I'm, I'm going to have a bad day. I say, well, guess what? You will have a bad day because you spoke that in the air. You know, you have to rebuke that. You know, you have to rebuke it. I'm going to have a day. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to be glad in it. You know, we ask, ask the Lord, don't let anyone steal your joy. We're, we're human. We're not perfect. God knows this. We tend to get angry. We can be in traffic. We tend to get frustrated. But Jesus said, don't let the sun go down on your anger. That means don't stay in that place. You know, if you get angry, don't stay there. Forgive, get over it, go on. You know, because it's not good for our spirit and our soul to stay in that place. So Jesus wants us to be in a better place. You know, not a place um, with for darkness because he gives us light, abundant light in our lives. And it's always light. You always look at the light in the situation. Everything is not bad. You know, sometimes just look, um, you're having a bad day, look at the bright side of it, of your day. You woke up, that's a bright side. You were able to see your family again, that's the bright side. You know, you have a job, that's a bright side. Just look at the light, the things that God gives you, he provides you, he keeps us. You know, it's always good. Look at the good. Not always look at all the bad. See the light that God provides for us and be thankful in it. You know, give God thanks while in it, while in it, because he's merciful God. You know, we glorify his name. Thank you, Father. We, we glorify your name. We thank you for all things, Lord Jesus. You know, the devil tempted the Lord in the wilderness, you know, and Jesus just, just, just quoted scriptures. You know, the father and we can quote scriptures when the devil's trying to come up against us in our lives. 
in Jesus' name, and you and you quote him in Jesus' name. Get thee behind me, Satan. The devil is a liar. The truth is not in him. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment, the Lord thy God shall condemn. You know, we trample on the lion and the adder. You know, God give us authority. Don't lay down and, and, and sleep with the devil. Don't talk and walk and speak and be devilish. You know, you, you ask God to help you give, give you light in your life. You know, Lord, I can't do this today without you. Help me, Father. You know, Lord is there to ask for us to ask for his help. There's plenty of times in my life situation that I felt like I could not do with things, that I could not get by. And so many times I would have given up on my marriage. But I say, Lord, I can't do this. Help me, Father. And he has helped me through the situation with anything. You know, things are not easy, but it's worth it in the end. God didn't say it was going to be easy, but it's worth it all. You know, if he bring you to it, he'll get you through it. You know, these are trials in our lives, you know, and God is just faithful. God is worthy. Believe that he can do it for you. He will bring you through it. He will get you over it. He will bring you out of it. Just cherish the Lord, reverence God each and every day. Thank him. Thank the Lord. Have some time and oneness with God each and every day. This is my petition to you to petition the Lord God for your needs, you know, for his will. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come. For God's kingdom to come. Merciful God, holy God. God is holy, you know. By like when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. When you pray, this verse is saying, when you pray to the Lord, you don't have to keep praying to the Lord the same thing. God answers your prayers. He hears your prayers. You know, he knows if you're ready for something and he knows when you're not ready. He knows when he's going to move in your life. We just have to wait on the Lord. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You know, we be in such a hurry as people and as flesh that we don't want to wait on a thing. We're very impatient. We consider life, oh, why does life take us so long? Why do people walking across the street so slow? You know, God says wait. Just like a stop sign. The stop sign is there for a reason. Wait. The yield sign, slow down. <laughs> this is the Lord saying to us in our life, I want you to wait on me. I want you to slow down. I want you to yield to my warnings to adhere to me. I am the Alpha and Omega. You don't belong to yourself. I am the father over you. I am the shepherd over you. You are the sheep, the flock. You know, so God is our leader and our protector, our provider. And when we speak in bad things and think in bad thoughts, is dividing us from the Lord. You won't want to be in division from God. You want to be in inclusion with God. You know, so speak great things. Even when you feel down, speak life. You know, you're blessed. I'm blessed today. Regardless, if, if you're st stuck in a snowstorm, I'm blessed. You find good in everything. You know, this is what makes God happy. This is what brings God joy. It was spoken in my spirit to do this lesson. As a man think of so is he. You know, I asked the Lord. 
what he wants that will be done. And as I said in the beginning of the video, my Bible was already turned to Proverbs. So I believe that was confirmation that the Lord is saying, Lisa, I need for you to tell people out there that their thoughts, you know, they, they holding the blessings up when they thinking bad things. When you talking about others and you thinking bad things of other people, that holds up your blessings. You know, the angels can't move because you're blocking it. You're blocking the angels from moving to do the things that God is petitioning them to do to deliver your breakthroughs. We stand in our own way. God wants you all to know that we stand in our own way. We have to get out of our way so we can hear God. We have to get out of our way so we can, you know, reap the benefits. You know, God has so many gifts for us. His grace is sufficient for thee. Whose mind is stayed on thee. God thy shall keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on him. Don't let your mind be conformed to the world. Be carnal minded. Ask the Lord to help you and guide you. To be better, better in your thoughts. So we're holding up the blessings when we're, we're saying these evil things about one another, even when we just think it evil of ourselves. You know, when God's hand is on you, you are blessed. You know, that's a blessing in your life. You know, I tell people all the time, I tell my family members all the time. Look at the bright side of your situation. Don't always look at the things that you can't see. Because God has greater things for you. You know, God has greater things that you can even imagine. And there's nothing wrong. I want people to know that there's nothing wrong with having great things, good things. There's nothing wrong about having a nice house and a nice car. You know, if God bless you with these things, then great. You know, it's how you treat it. If he give you a lot, it's what you do with it. If he blesses you with something, help others bless others. This is who God is. You know, he blesses you to bless others. It's not to be selfish and keep things for yourself. You know, we take things for granted. Little things we take for granted in life. So just thank the Lord. Petition the Lord to help you out of your mess. To guide you, strengthen you, and keep you. Because the Lord God reigns forever. He is mighty. He is awesome. He is your strength. And just thank the Lord. You know, for everything. You're sure. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Lord of our life, the battle acts in times of battle. He is here to help us. He wants us to come to him. When you pray, you, you can feel the anointing of the Lord. He loves prayer. He loves for people to pray to him. He knows we can't do these things out of our own strength. We have to have the strength of him to fight this battle, the wiles of the devil, to keep our feet sharp with the preparation of gospel of peace, the sword of the spirit. To ask the Lord to guard your heart, your mind, your footsteps. He's a mighty God. Just praise God for all things, everybody. Be blessed and have a great day. Praise God. I just want to pray before I leave um, this lesson. I hope that you gain insight out of it to keep things that you say out of your mouth pure and clean, and thoughts, your thoughts, pure and clean, ask God to clean your heart, give you a clean heart, Father God, I thank you right now, Jesus, in Jesus' name, Father, that you touch each and every person that listen to this video, Father God, that they may share it with someone who need it, and need a kind word in their life, 
who need encouragement in their life, Father. Let your anointing be on it, Father. Embrace them. Keep them, Father. In perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, Father God. Lord, remove the darkness from their thoughts, their hearts, their minds, their spirits, their souls, Father. Let them call on you, Lord. Lord, remove darkness from them, Father. Replace it with your light. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning, Lord. Let them feel your joy and the presence and anointing, Lord, over their minds, their spirits, their bodies, and their souls, Lord. Forgive them, Father, in everything, Lord. In all things, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Just go in peace, everyone, and just have a blessed day. And just thank, thank God for your life. Thank God for deliverance. Speak it in existence. Speak life over your situation. God is worthy. He's worthy. I broke my glasses and my husband glued them back together and I'm still being able to do this video. So I thank God for that. In Jesus' mighty name. Everyone have a great evening, a great morning, and just the peace of God be on you. In Jesus' name, bye-bye. See you next time.